so my name is Vigard. I'm from uh, the IT Innovation Centre at the University of Southampton. Uh, you see my contact details here on the screen uh, and also at the end of the, the presentation you'll have it there. If there's any other questions that we uh, don't cover here, feel free to contact me. So this, um, this final session uh, talk about a methodology that was created within the project uh, to do socioeconomic impact assessment uh, within Fitman. So some of the references that I'm making will be about Fitman. I'll try my best to sort of make it generic, but it's useful just to have something concrete uh, as well to talk about. Um, I mean, in general, it's, the purpose of this methodology is to analyze and measure you know, both the social and economic impacts of new technologies uh, so, and, and also business models. Uh, so within Fitman, you know, there's a lot of specific enablers that some of you have uh, heard about earlier today. Um, and they are being adopted in various use case trials within the project. Uh, so we've had uh, 10 trials uh, in different manufacturing areas. Uh, so the, this methodology was created and applied within the project to look, to look at the impact of these new technologies on those respective enterprises in the trials, uh, their customers, suppliers, and also the society as a whole. Um, so we've done this for each of the trials in Fitman, and then we try to um, also use this methodology to scale up to look at any sort of industry level impacts. Uh, so this is then in the context of the manufacturing industry that Fitman is focusing on. Uh, so in a similar way, other projects or companies, uh, let's say Fireware Open Core participants might use this to look at uh, the impact that this might have within their uh, respective industries, their enterprise, and so on. Um, and part of the methodology is to really identify the potential long-term costs and benefits for the different stakeholders uh, that are identified. So within Fitman, uh, just to set sort of a bit of context and scope where this fits in, uh, we consider that Fitman has an impact on three, three sort of main areas. Uh, the industry, which is kind of the key thing that we're talking about here, uh, where uh, within the factors of the future roadmap, uh, we are specifically targeting, you know, the, or analyzing the sort of impact in three particular areas: uh, employment, environmental impact, and economic growth. Now, these are generic as well, but if this methodology was going to be used in a different context for another industry and so on, there might be some other Megatrends is a, a term used here uh, that you, you might want to sort of use part of the analysis. Uh, for the scientific community, uh, we're now talking about you know, publications, outreach within the community that you might have, uh, creation of awareness and recommendations to the scientific community uh, based on, you know, the, the project is research as well as development. So that's why this is there. Uh, but this is out of the scope of this socioeconomic impact assessment methodology. Uh, so this has been dealt with by uh, some other impact assessment within the project, so project management and monitoring. Uh, so I won't touch on this. Uh, for society, uh, we're now talking about people's way of life, for example, impact on their environment, their general health and well-being, uh, and the community as a whole. Now. For the methodology that I'm presenting, this really only we talk about uh, the direct impacts on, on these. So it could be related to uh, uh, people's uh, employment, for example. You see there's some overlap between the three uh, megatrends up in the top right here. Um, and similarly for environmental impacts, that's also a societal one. So there's a bit of overlap here, but the the reason why I say that we're only considering direct impacts here is that within Fitman there's another methodology that looks at social innovation. Uh, so these are impacts that uh, are more, you know, just to make it simple, these are more indirect impacts where you, know, you might uh, deploy a technology within an organization for a specific benefit that was planned for, but there could be other indirect impacts 
you know, for example, new technologies reduce uh, CO2 emissions, the environment benefits from that, people uh, increasingly start cycling to work, for example, because everything's been cleaned up, which then impacts on their health and well-being and such things. Uh, for the methodology itself, uh, we have three steps, and I'll go through slides with different versions of this picture. And the, um, the idea is to first uh, outline the socioeconomics for the, the specific subsect in which the organization you're analyzing is within. So for Fitman, that was manufacturing subsector. Uh, so manufacturing as a whole could be divided into subsectors such as you know, the automotive subsector of manufacturing, uh, lighting, electricity, uh, whiteware goods and so on. Uh, so this is really to establish the status quo uh, with some example statistics. Uh, for example, Eurostat is a, uh, a reliable sort of, um, what's the word I'm searching for? Um, it's quite a trustworthy source of statistics, so it's uh, official numbers from EC. Um, and you could bring in things like uh, the number of enterprises and turnover, organization sizes, employment figures, and, and such things, which could be useful here. Um, in terms of uh, getting information about the effect on, on the environment, uh, we needed to get that information from other areas, and it would really depend on the respective industry that's being analyzed. Uh, so this could be academic literature, or government reports, etc. Uh, so I can't make specific suggestions here for sources per se. The second step of the methodology is to then look at um, you know, case studies and for us, the case studies were the, the Fitman trials. And we have uh, you know, 10 of them in different areas where we would look at uh, the changes with, without, and with uh, Fitman technology. So first we have this scenario of you know, how it is at the moment. We talked about the status quo. And then we are doing a cost-benefit analysis uh, to determine who's really affected by the technologies and the changes in business processes, uh, what exactly are the costs and benefits, and then try to estimate these costs and benefits. Uh, so part of this uh, is to create a value network. So this is identifying the various stakeholders as part of sort of the, the business scenario, if you like. Uh, so this could be fairly high level. Uh, and also just showing the various sort of um, cost and benefits in a, in a diagram form here where, I don't know if you can see properly on this slide uh, on your screens, but between each of these boxes that represent a stakeholder, there's uh, direct no, directional arrows where customers pay an electricity company, for example, and they provide that electricity. So there's a, you know, you provide something and you benefit in a way. Uh, so this is then step one of, of this part of the analysis. And then in terms of starting to define the cost and benefits, uh, it might be useful to do it in a table form like this, where for each of the actors in their value network, uh, identify uh, whether there's any benefits or costs and try to define what that is. Uh, and also ideally try to relate um, these costs and benefits to some performance indicators. Uh, so what I mean by that is in FitMath, for example, we have these new specific enablers that are being integrated into these companies, uh, and they will have some uh, performance indicators such as increasing efficiency or reducing the amount of paper used and such things. Uh, so they can you know, measure what they do before you know, using this technology and then take measurements afterwards uh, after this technology has been integrated within the system and they see any gains that they have. So one thing to note here is that the, the actors that we had in the value network uh, typically won't include society as an actor but it's, it's included here at the bottom 
so reduced paper usage is one example of uh, something that's a, a benefit. We see an error on the slide here. It says cost, but it should be a benefit. And finally, uh, it is to look into the future of the potential long-term benefits, uh, not just within that particular enterprise and case study, uh, but within the wider manufacturing subsector in the case of Fitman or any other industrial subsector that you might be applying this to. Uh, so here we're, we're looking at uh, speci specifically the industry level and society uh, and as I said earlier we're, we don't consider the scientific impacts here uh, and for the industry level we, we had these uh, mega trends and it was these three uh, that came from the Factories of the Futures Roadmap. Uh, so employment, really what's the impact on you know, individual employees, any staffing requirements of the enterprise health and safety, conditions at work, job satisfaction and staff training, such things. And you know, in some cases, the, because of the context that we're talking here about, you know, analyzing the impact of technology, uh, some of these impacts may not be you know, positive in some senses because they can reduce the amount of um, uh, jobs because you're automating processes, uh, for example, and you might need less staff. Uh, in some cases, these staff might be then better used to do other tasks that are more complex and so on. Uh, so it's not always you know a straight cut analysis of that aspect. Um, for the environment, uh, we also have you know, examples listed on this slide with um, you can improve energy efficiency or reduce waste. Um, you know, the products that are being developed could become you know, better quality so that in itself could have a positive impact on the environment if they're more environmentally friendly. It could be that products last longer so there's a re reduced wastage because of that or for certain things they they might degrade better and so on. Uh, finally, economic growth. Uh, this is typically a key thing when we're talking about socioeconomic impact assessment. Uh, and this is what generally makes the world in business tick. Uh, the actual uh, economic benefits that would come out of the technology uh, are important to try to quantify in particular. Uh, but not just on for the enterprise itself, uh, there could be benefits to the suppliers and so on, or the wider manufacturing industry and economic uh, area as a whole. So this um, methodology that I've fairly quickly summarized here, it has been applied to, uh, by different partners within Fitman uh, to 10 different use case trials in the project. Uh, I can't share actual results here due to confidentiality because we're analyzing their businesses and so on. Um, I try to give some indications and clarifications as we've gone along to make it a bit more concrete so I hope that's helped. Um, one thing to note is that uh, there are some chal key challenges that we have observed in doing this within Fitman uh, and one of them is getting data from the organization that's being analyzed for us in the project, all the organizations that we analyze were external to us uh, in the sense that uh, there are different partners in the project who, who do this. Uh, so there's some confidentiality issues where the organization may not want to share some data with us. Um, so it, it can become a, more than a, a challenge of trying to pull together statistics that are publicly available and make them representative to the organization. But if you're doing this analysis for yourself, for your own internal organization, then hopefully it will be less of an issue. Um, and the other thing is, in terms of measuring impacts, especially getting business-related measurements to quantify these impacts on new technologies, that, that can be tricky sometimes. Uh, where there are some costs and benefits that just aren't trivial to, to estimate, um, and I think the key thing here is to emphasize it 
it is an estimation of impacts. Uh, and then actual costs and benefits you can then monitor and, uh, and calculate a bit more concretely. But if you're trying to estimate for the long term, uh, then yeah, it's, it's an obvious, obvious challenge. <clears throat> 